Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got uh, obviously a whole bunch of Civivis to open up. These are brand new models. I honestly don't know what they are. <laughs> we and Civivi, thank you very much to we slash Civivi slash Sencap for sending these in. They just kind of send me stuff, right? And I like to open it up and give you my first impressions as per usual if they are available, which by the time you're watching this, they should be. I'll link them right down below. So you guys can check them out if you want to. It does help my channel when you use my links, but that's entirely up to you. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. As soon as I pull these out of the box, I did my best to not look at the little informational pack or the, you know, the little thing on the side, right? So we're just going to go through and open these. These are open from the, this part is always open, right? It's the, it's the seal on the, this is what I mean, this little piece of paper. It's the seal on the box that you have to break to actually get into it. Um, but uh, yeah, let's see what the heck this is. First one here. All right, get through all the reinforcements. Okay, we have uh, what looks to be a very fancy... This is the Praxis. Is this a smaller Praxis? I just spit, I'm sorry. Shredded probably a This is nice. Uh, this is actual um, shred, like gold carbon fiber shred, which is crazy <laughs> to have on a knife like this. Why does it feel? Maybe it's just been a long time since I've handled the practice. Hang on. Where's my godforsaken tape measure? Okay, here it is. Sorry. Bring it back down. There we go. Um. Was the Praxis always eight and a quarter? Why does it feel different? Okay, well, <laughs> I like it a lot. I've always liked the Praxis, but it just says Praxis, shredded carbon fiber and golden shred in clear resin handle, black stone wash, 9CR, 18MOV. Curious combination of materials there, but yeah, this is probably gonna be an expensive one. I I'm guessing that the indication here is that we will, that really does look good. <laughs> the more I look at that, the more I like it. <laughs> that looks nice. <laughs> I was just coming down on it for like having a, a luxurious handle. And while well, 9CR 18 MOV is a nice steel, it's not a luxurious, you know, composition. This will undoubtedly be expensive for a Civivi, but not, you know, I mean, as far as like expensive goes versus the stuff that I show on this channel. Yeah, but it it perspective. Okay, let's open up this next one. I wonder if these are all going to be variations of the same thing, or if we're going to get new, a whole, like four new things. Okay, well this is definitely different. What is this? Okay, so this one is called the cachet. <laughs> my my caveman brain wants to say catch it, but that is not most likely not. I don't know. Maybe it is. Who knows? Okay, right off the bat. Love the texturing here. Civivi, yes. This right here, I mean, whatever you do, if you keep the, the, the designs relatively, you know, safe and kind of within the formula, right? Fine. This looks really good. I like these, like these continuous patterns look really cool. That's nice. The large diamond checkered whatever. Um, yeah, looks nice. I think this is most likely, what is it white G10 or is it micarta? White uh, ivory G10, 14C28N. Yeah, I kind of, uh, I'm kind of digging this one. We doing anything different with the clips? Still a little bit of a bill here, a little bit. I don't like those because they want to catch, but okay, no holes, not bad. I do, you know, this is a steel uh, frame lock, but we have it sort of sunk under this uh, overlay is sunk into the steel frame, which is nice because you don't have to go, oh, where am I going to put my fingers? Um, yeah, still pretty safe with the blade. We have one of those fullers that just sort of transitions into the swedge, which looks nice. Uh, Civivi's geometry is always on point and they're sharpening. Gotta be careful where your finger is. <laughs> Sharpening's always great. Very smooth. This is a cool one. Um, outside, you know, the silhouette is, uh, nothing, uh, nothing new, nothing crazy. No reinvention of the wheel. 
but I do like this. This looks good. And it actually does offer meaningful traction. It's going to be a little bit of a fight getting this up over the pocket seam. Yeah, cool. Uh, if they keep the price down on this guy, this will be a really cool one. Definitely. All right, let's put that guy right there. Happy that we're not doing four variations the same. I'm really, I'm really thrown off by that Praxis. Maybe it just feels different because I haven't handled it for a long time. Okay, here's the next. Sorry, we got to cut into it again. There we go. All right. What do we got? What do we got for number three? <laughs> Can I count? <laughs> uh, we have a little guy. This is a mini Praxis. <laughs> this is an actual mini. Yeah, I was thrown off. <laughs> okay. They did a little Praxis. Okay, um, yeah, you know what? I think that's great. I think that's really cool. I don't know why it took him so long to do that. Oh, nice move. D2 and G10. Why is that a nice move? Because this guy should come in super inexpensive. Um, that's, that's really cool. Um, yeah, that, that's a nice, that's a good move there. Super comfortable because of the enlarged choil on the Praxis. Very comfortable. If you've ever looked at the Praxis and thought, neat it's just too big um there you go they've made a mini one and yeah it's about time that is very very cool i really hope these are all available right now um because that's that would be a budget knife to jump on for sure prax is just too good of a design okay i'm just gonna go ahead and read this one it's called the clavy the cl yeah i don't know maybe that's how you pronounce it Let's find out what it looks like. Uh, all right, so it feels smaller. Yeah, it is. A little tiny clabby boy. Okay, we have a burlap. I don't. <laughs> this is a little too much burlappy. Like, it's almost oozing excess micarta. That's the thing that I don't like about burlap. And I'm not saying this is necessarily bad. This is kind of nature of the beast. However, this is the most right? This makes me think of a very old couch that your mom or your grandma will not get rid of. You know, the couch in the basement that's next to the lamps that probably should also go. You know, I'm talking about a basement where they still have ceiling tiles and you're like, hey, those have asbestos. Probably not, you know, a good idea for your basement. They're like, ah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's what it makes me think of. Does it not? You know, this couch is in your mom's basement. Maybe you sleep on it. <laughs> uh, okay, pointy boy. Um, yeah, it's like a little surgical worn. Oh, do I dare call it a worn cliff? Ah, do you feel yourself on your tippy toes wanting to correct me? <laughs> what should we call this? Blade shape elitist. Um, <laughs> Octopus Friday high five surprise. That's my go to. Um, it's very pointy and very worn cliffy. Oh, uh, Ostap Hell. Um, okay. That's maybe it's to me, it seems like a departure, but maybe this is his jam. Um, I do like the nice large, those are, I'm pretty sure those are T8 screws for the, uh, pocket clip. We still have this Billy boy. Um, I, I will say this, this is much more what I expect to see from Zavivi and this doesn't seem as high, is it? Are they the same? And I'm just not, I think this guy's a little bit lower. I can't, I can't, it's hard, really hard for me to tell. These like to grab and these don't as much. So, okay, this is a little, little teeny tiny front flipper and it works. So honestly, it works surprisingly well. This has got to be I mean, maybe this is your jam, right? If you really want it to look like a tree that kind of like grew into a fence, you know how like trees kind of absorb old country fences? <laughs> That's what it makes me think of, right? They just became one. Um, then maybe you'll like this, you know? Uh, but that's no, that's part of the reason I don't like burlap is because it always seems to kind of do that, especially when you have contrast, you know, some, you know, a fairly heavy contrasting color. Very cool. Very cool on this. 
Uh, the Praxis, this is apparently the same Praxis that's always been around. They just have decided to do more wild stuff like this. Have they done this in the past? I don't know. This looks really good. My two favorites are definitely these two right here. The uh, Mini Praxis, or I'm assuming. I actually didn't even look at the box. Hold on. Yeah, it's called the Mini Praxis. And there you go. And then the other one was the Cache. 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 I... I'm assuming that that's uh, the correct pronunciation. Cool. Uh, this is a little bit more interesting uh, interesting box. Pretty excited about that guy. Really interested to see the price. I have no idea what the price on all this stuff is. They don't give me that information. And honestly, I don't want it. Uh, that's the kind of thing that I save for the full review. Right? So if you're wondering why did these reviews suck so bad, it's because you're not watching a review. You're watching an unboxing. First impressions, right? Uh, these guys save for probably the Praxis. I mean, this is cool. It doesn't really need a review. It's still the Praxis, right? But I will be doing full individual reviews for each of these knives a few weeks down the road. So uh, if you want to check those out, they're coming. If you want to go ahead and check the knives out, like I said, links down in the description. Thanks again to Savivi for sending these in for me to take a look at. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at uh, metal underscore complex. I forgot my name. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos. If knives are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching everybody and have a great day.